Hey everyone, it's Margaret Berry here with this week's Tuesday tip. This week I'm gonna be teaching you guys an arms move that not only works your arm, but it also improves lymphatic flow and helps you have better posture. This week we're working on posture power arms. Not a lot of people know, but a lot of your lymph nodes are clustered right around the chest and at the armpit area. It can be hard to move this area, especially if a lot of us get tight right here from our computer work or anything that requires us to, you know, hunch over a little bit. So today's move is really going to open up your chest, stimulate lymph flow in that area, and also really work your arms. Okay, so the key to this move is using really good form because you can do this move, but you won't actually feel the results. You have to really concentrate and focus on using good form. So your lower body will be in stance. Your knees are softly bent. I want you to think that you have a second belly button there and you're pulling it up a little bit. That'll start to engage your low abs even as you work your arms. So you're going to put your arms straight out. Now it's very important to make sure that they are out from the shoulders, okay? This is not out from the shoulder. This is not out from the shoulder. Straight out from the shoulder. And notice, see how mine wanted to come up there? You have to watch the alignment. The next thing that you need to know about this move is that you want to jazz your hands at all times. Jazzing your hands means getting as much space between each hand as possible. Jazz the hands. So you're jazzing the hands out and the palms will be facing towards the wall. So you want your hands, palms forward. The next thing that you'll do is basically this move is thinking to set your lats, okay? So I want you to think tall with the torso, chin comes in. You're not arching your back out, you're keeping it nice and stacked tall through the crown of your head so almost like the vertebra there are getting stretched and space in between them and you're going to bring one arm in while you keep the other arm level keep it level 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 and watch i'm bringing my palm facing in and now watch this elbow goes up and my chest goes slightly up but i keep my arm right there and then you open 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 all the way out and jazz your hands let's do the other hand bring it again in elbow stays up chest goes up tall with the torso, almost like you're lifting the side of your chest up to stretch. You'll feel that stretch right there and then open, open, open all the way very slowly and reach through those arms. So let's bring that arm in tall with the torso, chin comes in. If you're jetting your head out, you're using your neck to do this move. Keep it in and all the way back out. So you're bringing it in and remember this arm stays up level as you do this arm, bring it in. Your heart rate should be getting up a little bit now and bring it all the way back out. So it's in and open it out. Two, and open it out. Three, open it out. And four, you're reaching through the arms all the time. Now, other side, and out, in and out, in and out, last time, in and out. Now, if you wanna make this even harder, and if you also wanna work some nerve flossing in your arms, opening up the pecs even more, I want you to put your arms out. And when you come in for this part, so remember tall, tall with the torso, and then open. Now watch this. My hand goes back. So it's in and then a full extension. You're going to feel a pulling from your forearm through your chest, through your pec. If you feel any pinching, I don't want you to do this because that means that your nerves are a little irritated at you for doing this part. So same thing on the other side. Bring it into your chest. Tall with the chest, but don't arch the back out. It's just tall through the crown of the head and then open, open, open out and then full extension on that wrist. Now let's try alternating. So ready? Alternate, that wrist goes back and bring it in. Alternate, bring that wrist back. Alternate, bring that wrist back. It's kind of brain body. Alternate, bring it back, flip the wrist. Alternate, bring it back. That's just a variation for you to try. Last variation that I wanna show you is where you turn your neck. Your neck and your pecs and your arms, it's all connected. So I want you to bring one arm in and I want you to look the opposite way and I want you to feel that nice stretch down your arm, okay? And then look back to the center. So it's look the opposite way, feel that stretch, elbow stays up. It's harder to check your elbow alignment there when you go to the side, but it's okay. In, now feel that stretch down my arm all the way into the lat. The lat muscle is around your bra line in the back. Turn the head and in. Turn the head and bring it in. Okay, if you're ready to put this all together and we're gonna do a whole little sequence of this, Let's go ahead and get started. Remember, arms up. Do a shoulder roll up to your ears, and then I want you to think, set those lats. Ready? This is what it looks like from the side. Shoulder roll and set those lats and think really tall through the crown of your head. Bring that chin slightly in, jazz the hands, keep it level, here we go. So it's in, two, three, and out. 
lift the chest on that side each time in and out see how my elbow drop there up with the elbow then you'll really feel it five and out we'll do eight each side and out seven elbow stays up and eight elbow stays up bring it in shoulder roll back other side so it's in open out keep the other arm out and really think to reach through the fingertips as you do this keep that elbow up all the time that's four five and open six and open keep the elbow up seven and last time that is eight now we're gonna do twos so it's in and two and then in for two tall with the torso each time in elbow up for two and out for two now I'll do singles it's like hoe downs in and out in open other side out three open other side out this is deceptively hard i'm telling you and open out shoulder up back and down you're not done yet let's do the flossing in and floss in and floss put that hand back in and back in and back now turn the head in and back in and back you can even really up the ante and floss that hand putting the hand back each time hand comes in last time bring it in hands come down hunch up whoo you felt that <laughs> bring it back down hunch up shoulders all whipped the ears really release that tension in your traps and bring it back I hope down that you guys enjoyed this week's tip i would love to hear your feedback on this move i add this move in during the day sometimes after i skin brush it really helps get this whole armpit and chest and pectoral area all stretched out because the more you can stretch the muscles and move the fascia there the better your lymph flow will be love to hear your feedback on this you can comment below thanks so much for watching guys and i'll see you next week